do you think that OnlyFans is the direction for content creators, cosplayers, anyone who wants to have control of their work? Is that the future for creatives? Or is this merely just another platform that for now we can utilize until the next new thing rolls around that's popular? Hmm. Well, I remember like, because Instagram's algorithm can be awful at times and I know this from also experience where it's like you know where certain things get so much attention and likes and all that stuff and then there's other photos that you would expect to get the same intention but it's like if you post whether to post that in quotes the wrong time or like whatever that cases like it could ruin your post by like not having as much attention and like yeah you know it's the Instagram algorithm but it still doesn't like change the fact that it's it kind of stings that like it's it's something that you are really interested in or you're proud of doesn't get as much attention and it it stings so which is why I get why people are changing platforms um I know also another big platform that people have been changing to or are using more often since also Instagram had um announced that they're paying more attention to reels which are videos on there so like people have been mainly also posting on like Twitter because they also don't Twitter doesn't have well as of now at least to, yeah, Twitter doesn't have certain strict rules or like, you know, they make, for example, like I had heard that Instagram on purpose um, makes like, you know, in quotes, sexual posts, like get less attention. But on Twitter, it's different because it doesn't matter on there because I've seen like a lot of my friends who do do that kind of work, like post on there and even po- post, you know, more like 18 and up stuff on there. And it's been more, I guess the word is like more acceptable and people don't mind it kind of thing. But the thing is, is that OF is, you know, kind of known for obviously like, you know, for people who do sex work and all that which nothing's wrong with that because I I do the same thing but it's one of those things also where because I feel like OF has a stigma that like that stigma to it like I've seen like not that I've seen like certain cosplayers use OF for you know just like their crafting and tutorials and all that stuff but it's mainly like where people do like sex work And like do photos and all that stuff. So I feel like it kind of has that stigma to it still. Where it's like I don't know if it'll get mainstream popular for like just in general of like social media of everything. Like Instagram. But like it's definitely another social media where I've seen a good chunk resort to and get new following. And have people like appreciate their content. And there's no algorithm on OF. I feel like that's also why people use it, but I'm not sure if it'll get like, like, I know it's mainstream in terms of like people, the general public knows about it, but I don't know if it'll be mainstream. Like, you know, like it, like it's like, for example, like it's okay to have an Instagram, but I don't know if it'll be like, I don't know. This is just me, but I'm not sure if it'll be mainstream, like, if you just generally say, oh, I have an OnlyFans and then get like the same, no, in quotes, normal reaction, like, oh, okay, like that's cool or whatever, because that's usually not the case. <laughs> no, not, not at all. We live in a world where if you're a content creator that gets an opportunity to work with a big business, they will quote and have your Instagram and your Twitter on your page. But I don't know if I see a world where where Funko Pop is working with a, a lead star who has an OnlyFans, unfortunately. And I, I, I would like to see that sort of change. But also at the same time, it's just, I can't see that happening. I think there's too much at stake with the other platforms to continue to be churning out that content that could be opened up anywhere. Yeah. And I think with OnlyFans, because like you said, there's no algo and you can post whatever you want. Same thing with Twitter. You can post pretty much whatever you want. There's always going to be that that barrier, that blockage that keeps it from going to where it should be. And it's unfortunate because 
the OnlyFans is still making a lot of money, but the creators yeah. now have to always look at what's trending. How do I have to adjust my content? And sometimes you're doing that every six weeks, every two months. And that's a whole lot of marketing on top of already the creative process, which can definitely destroy what you're doing. It is difficult. Yeah, definitely. Like, I remember, I don't exactly remember the names of the other social medias, but... I remember in recent years, there were like a few social media platforms that weren't like Facebook or like Instagram that like I knew people were kind of getting on like that trend of, I remember, but like I know it didn't last long because I know a bunch of people stopped using it after a certain amount of time because they weren't like advertising it on like their feed as much anymore or just in general, you just wouldn't see them use it as much anymore because I was kind of on like, the same train where I was like oh this is cool maybe this is like something new I could do besides insta and all that and then I went on and I used it for a bit and then I just remember I just stopped using it for whatever reason and then I just went back to the usual instagram so I can see that like I just don't think like unless for some reason the stigma around OnlyFans goes away like, unless that goes away, then, like you said, too, and we can both agree that it won't be, like, normal mainstream, like Instagram or Facebook. 